Hey guys, Tech Trainer Josh here, and now that Windows 10 has been out for just a few days, I thought that it would be a good idea that I share with you guys some tips and tricks that may improve your experience as a user of Windows 10. If you still need Windows 10 and you have the ability to upgrade, you have Windows 7 or you have Windows 8.1, I will leave the link to the video down below that I made on how you can get Windows 10. But now let's get things started. If you're anything like me, you love your shortcuts like Control c to copy, Control v to paste, or Control a to select all. In Command Prompt, you were never able to use these. They always came up with a little carrot and then the letter, and it was like, oh man, I like to use those. If you want to do this, in Windows 10, there's now an option that you could change. Just right-click the title bar next to Command Prompt and go to Properties. Go to Edit Options, and then make sure that you unclick at the bottom, Use Legacy Console. Go ahead and click Enable Control Key Shortcuts, Relaunch Command Prompt, and then you're able to use all your wonderful shortcuts that you've always loved. Sticking with shortcuts, we're going to look at a shortcut to get to Task View. If you're not familiar with Task View, this is a new feature that they added for Windows 10 that allows you to add multiple desktops and see all of your current windows in case you're getting lost in thousands of windows for work and other things. So to get to this, there's either a couple rectangles at the bottom towards the left of the taskbar next to Cortana. You can either click on that and take a look at all the action going on on your screen and add multiple desktops, as I said, or the shortcut for this is Windows Tab, and you can see everything you've got, any multiple desktops, and all of the magic that you're doing on Windows 10. To keep things going, I have another shortcut for you guys, and this one is for AeroSnap. If you're not familiar with AeroSnap, you can take any window you want and drag it all the way to the left or the right and it'll fit exactly half the screen. Same thing if you bring it up, that'll fill up the whole screen and with Windows 10, you can now drag them into corners and get quadrants. However, that's not what I'm here to tell you guys about. I have a shortcut for this and it's very useful. That is new to Windows 10. Hold down the Windows key and click up, left, right, down, whatever, and it will snap it for you. I think this will be a great productivity feature, and I'm already using it. You drag it to the right and it fits half the screen, and if you're already snapped to the right, you can click up and that'll make it into a quadrant. Very useful and great for productivity. This next one is a tweak that can be very useful for, well, uh, everyone, yeah. So, if you're always annoyed about Windows automatically doing its updates, uh, especially when it restarts, you can actually modify that now. Go to the Windows Start menu, go to Settings, go to Updates and Security, and under the Windows Update menu, go ahead and go to Advanced Options. At the very top, you'll see that you can change whether your computer restarts automatically, or it notifies you to restart. Now, this could be quite annoying if it's automatic. If you have it to ask you when you want it to restart, and 10 hours, and 5 hours, and 2 and a half minutes. That is a lot nicer than just automatic restarts. And finally, to close things out, we have God Mode, something that was actually in Windows 7. They took away that in 8, but here it is back. Very interesting. Make a new folder, and name it this long phrase. It'll be in the description. Just name it that. And then, if you do it correctly, make sure that all the periods are there and everything, then it will become kind of like a control panel-y looking icon. Click on that, and then you will see a lot of nice utilities that are already in the operating system, but in all one central location, such as disk management, or backup and restore, adding users, adding a printer, screen resolution. It's just very nice to have them all in one central location, a long laundry list of utilities, all right there for your geeky goodness. Well. Anyway, <laughs> that's about it, guys. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section below. Once again, I made a video on how to get Windows 10 if you have the ability to upgrade it. The link for that will be down in the description, like I said. And that's about it. Hit that subscribe button if you are new and you will get all of the latest techie videos that could be useful or interesting or educational or all of the above. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.